see a lot of new content in the first three sections of the PMBOK guide. So for example, we talk about tying projects to the strategic objectives of the organization. In the front end, we've added a new chapter, which is about the role of the project manager. It's very important to draw these things together in one place to give advice to our project managers on how they should lead their projects effectively. Let's talk about what's new in the knowledge areas for the PMBOK guide. In project integration management, we added a new process called Manage Project Knowledge, and that's really about managing all the knowledge such as lessons learned and making sure that gets spread throughout other projects in the organization. In project scope management, we haven't done a lot of changes, but we do talk a little bit about the relationship between the project manager and the business analyst. In project quality management, we took the Perform Quality Assurance and we replaced it with Manage Quality. Most organizations don't have quality assurance parked in the project. There's actually an outside department that does quality assurance, but our role as the project manager is to manage the quality on the project. We've renamed two of the knowledge areas. The first of those is to rename Project Time Management because you can't manage time. So we're now calling that project schedule management. We've also recognized in project human resource management that there are other resources, not just people, and we've generalized that chapter to call it project resource management. Project communications management didn't have many changes, but there's a really critical thing that we addressed in there. And that's the difference between communication, such as the act of communicating, and communications, which are the artifacts or the paper outputs, or even like this, the video communication that comes across. Project risk management. Boy, there were some changes in here. We started to address overall project risk, not just event-driven risks. The other thing is we added a new risk response called Escalate. There are times when risks occur on our project that have to be escalated up either to a program or a portfolio level. Project procurement management. This section got a makeover. It's now much more international based and not as North American focused. Project stakeholder management. We did some good work on this one. And in this we really shifted the view from stakeholder management to stakeholder engagement. Because I'm gonna tell you, I don't know about you, but I can't control my stakeholders, but I can manage how I engage with them. By project managers, for project managers.